Good morning, everyone. Brian here again with BMG Retro Gaming. This morning, I have a review for us of the Atari 7800 original library game, One on One Basketball, which also is known in some of its other ports as One on One with One on One Dr. J versus Larry Bird. And in some, it's just known as One on One. Anyway, it originally was developed by Eric Hammond and published by Electronic Arts for the Apple II in 1983. Later on, it would be published um, in ports for a number of other home computers and quite a few home video game consoles, too. The one that we've got here today, the Atari 7800 port, was actually done in 1987 by Atari Corporation as anybody could probably guess, I suppose. Anyway, it features a one-on-one -on -one basketball matchup between Larry, uh, Dr. J, Julius Irving, and Larry Bird. Interestingly enough, Larry Bird, he was actually pretty well known back then. I knew about, I was a kid back then, but I knew about him, uh, Michael Jordan, uh, Magic Johnson, uh, even uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and all, you know. But uh, Ju Julius Irving, Dr. J, was kind of getting more towards the end of his career, so by the time this was made, and I wasn't as familiar with him, really. One reason why I tend to personally prefer to play is Larry Bird. I just know better about Larry Bird, so sue me. Anyway, um, the game's pretty good and uh, features a lot that uh, you would probably expect and some you might not. For instance, it has a 24-second shot clock. Uh, personal fouls, and as for moves, you've got everything from jumpers and fadeaways, putbacks, slam dunks, to three-pointers you can hit. As a matter of fact, Larry Larry Bird, one, he's got a couple of advantages, you'll notice, you know, he's very strong, he's a bit bigger than Dr. J, and uh, a little bit stronger, and he's a better rebounder uh, overall. And also is somewhat better at hitting three-point shots. Though you still have to t take care to make sure that you do your part to get off right. Whereas Dr. J's advantages tend to be that he's faster and has more stamina. So. Anyway. That's pretty much the basics of it on that one. I have my loose cartridge I got. It's pretty nice. I'm um, missing a little bit of part of the top label here, you know, but could be far worse on that. And then there's a little uh, spot down here. But other than that, it's still in pretty nice shape. Overall, the cartridge is all together. It doesn't rattle. It's not loose inside. So it's pretty good. Even says Super Game Cartridge on it. Which some of them uh, back in the day for the 7800 did. Some didn't. And we can see it says here, you guys can't see with me. I haven't turned towards me. Copyright 1983 Electronic Arts and Copyright 1987 Atari Corporation. So the acknowledgements are all there. Anyway, don't want to rattle on too long. We're getting off to a pretty nice start with this video so far, with it not me not having talked everybody's head off all the way in. So I'm going to go ahead and get set up with my Atari 7800, and we're going to take a look into the gameplay. Okay, so here we go. Opening screen has this little jingle and shows Larry Bird kind of missing a, a free throw. And that's about what you get for the opening. Okay, new game, yes. I'll do Parks and Recreation, that's easy. Varsity is a bit tougher, college is a bit tougher, and pro is the toughest. Computer. Dr. J, yeah. Time game. I found before it lets you do two, four, six, or eight minutes. Even the four would run maybe about 20 minutes long, so we're going to go ahead and go for the two. And we'll go for losers outs. So that's where he has to give you possession of the ball, really. Okay. 
it's pretty simple in terms of you use the left button both to block and steal. There we go. And also to uh, shoot and rebound. When you have possession of the ball, you can also... Um... Ooh, there we go. Three-pointer for five. You can also press your uh, right button. Oh, and you can shut the glass. Do on the spot. And here comes the janitor. Who lets you know Qbert style is not too happy about having to clean up after you. <laughs> But yeah, that, uh, Larry Bird's strong enough to shatter the glass. My friend, uh, the No Square Gamer, uh, Phil, had told me that he wasn't sure if you could even do that with Larry Bird, and he'd wanted to find out. Oh, and you have to take the ball out beyond the, uh, beyond the, uh, inner circle there, you know, just, uh, beyond the free, free, free throw line in order to actually have a, uh, for it to be in play correctly. Otherwise, you're not going to get to... Uh, you'll, you won't have taken it back out of, to put it back in play proper, so... You can also press the button when you're stopped to change your whether you're facing forward or back, which can be useful at times. So far, I'm killing Dr. J. Even though I've got on easy mode, so it shouldn't be a big surprise with that. You can tell that Larry Bird, uh, he looks a lot like himself in a way. The hair color, in contrast, is one easy way to tell them apart, so. And that's actually a good thing. The animations and all uh, the graphical animations are pretty smooth. It's rendered pretty well. It looks a lot like two guys playing basketball, so no big complaint about that. Oops. Oh, I thought I fouled him. That little bar down there shows you that the players, uh, I called a timeout. When you do that, those little bars down at the bottom show you um, about how much energy and all they have left. And Both players will get kind of tired. Oh, and here it does have the instant replays. One of the first games known at the time, which video games which might happen. It's okay. Unfortunately, you can't just uh, press something and make it not do the instant replay, so... Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Uh, pretty easy to play through, really. At least on this level of it. If I uh, up the difficulty level, it'd probably be a lot tougher on me. But I wanted to sh make it where I could show off, you know, how the game plays and what it's supposed to be like generally, so why not? Also, when you jump up for a rebound, it's going to rebound uh, depending on the direction you've got your joystick, or in my case, um, I'm using my Retro Game Boy's uh, gamepad controller. It's going to depend on which direction you've, you're, you're directing your player at as to what direction you're going to jump in in your attempt at a rebound, so you can get off and jump in the wrong direction to get the ball back.
Okay, you're mine. Dr. J made a mistake of coming to play on my court. Ah, block a shot. Well, temporarily. And stole it from it. I didn't think so. Okay, in fourth quarter now. In some ways, except for having one, just a single basket instead of two, you know, um, kind of reminds me a little bit of basketball for the Atari VCS 2600. Uh, of course, I lost that one, I think, in the review video by one point or so. Those games were programmed tough back then. At least the computer AI doesn't give you an easy time. Want to bring some, huh? Not gonna do you much of any good, though. I know I can make a three sometimes. Because I'm just gonna have to skip it for now. And that's the end of that. Anyway, I think you guys have a pretty good idea of the gameplay by now. Okay, so that was one-on-one -on -one basketball in an uh, Atari 7800 original library game. Is it pretty good? Yes. As a matter of fact, uh, some of the other Atari 7800 sports genre games like uh, Touchdown Football weren't so good, you know, and they didn't always do the best job with uh, with the sports genre, even though they probably could have, but as it goes, one-on-one -on -one basketball is an exception in that it is actually pretty good.
Sure, it's one-on-one -on -one instead of being like a full two teams, but for what it is, it's pretty good. And who doesn't love getting out on the court, you know, taking somebody on one-on-one, -on -one, getting all personal up in your face? Same concept. So, yeah, I think it's pretty good for an uh, Atari 7800 original library game. And I enjoy it. I do have a few recommendations and links for you guys. Um, my preferred YouTubers... Pets is Jim One in Television Dude, which is a bit surprising because I know Robert actually, uh, he's in Television Dude. Um, I know he plays in Television, but I wasn't aware that he really plays around with the Atari 7800 much of any. Or if I did ever become aware of that before, I must have forgot sometime over the course of time because something that I hadn't been thinking of or really remembering much. Then there's Crow Capture and, of course... Phil, the No Swear Gamer, one of my favorites. He actually was wondering if Larry Bird could shatter the glass on Dunk or not. Well, there you go. And he wasn't so sure if Larry Bird was as good at doing three-pointers three, uh, three -pointers as, uh, uh, as claimed. Well, yeah, if you get the shot off right, he's pretty good at it. At least in my experience, I wasn't able to do it as much there as I would like to. But yeah, you got a pretty good shot at a three-pointer with uh, Larry Bird. So anyway, I will leave links for those four for you guys um, uh, to check out if you'd like. And um, I should have um, uh, um, an announcement post up for this next Sunday's homebrew, probrew, or prototype review coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Should be a bit later after this one goes up. Uh, big shout out to my Atari 7800 Pro System Gamers Facebook group. Love you guys over there, and hopefully y'all should be getting this video to enjoy, uh, hopefully before too terrible long. Just as usual, always depends kind of on how, how long the upload time is going to take, and how cooperative my phone with its signal and all is going to be at a given time. Anyway, if you enjoy my channel's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And please don't hesitate to leave any questions, comments, or suggestions down in the comment section below. You guys take care, have a wonderful Wednesday, and hopefully I should see you again on this uh, coming Sunday, if not a bit before.